Yo, what's going on, my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel, where life is for the taking. It's the host himself, Ted Talk Money, coming back at you to tell you Iran's central bank has been hit by a major cyber attack, causing widespread disruption across the country's banking system. Now, as you guys understand, this is not a political channel, but you have to understand there are major, major things happening throughout the geopolitical world stage. I want you guys to understand that John Deaton is continuing his campaign as the new U.S. Senator for Massachusetts. Of course, as you guys know, if you are over on Twitter, we have been rocking and supporting with John Deaton for quite a while. Be sure that you give him give him a follow over on Twitter. We want you guys to definitely get in tune, but we want you all to understand Elizabeth Warren isn't really seen in the right way these days. Of course, as if you've been paying attention to our channel, we've been showing you how crypto and U.S. politics have become synonymous one and one. And there's a big reason for that, guys. You're seeing it here that pro crypto John Deaton's campaign to oust Warren just got another million dollar installment from a super PAC. And we're going to be showing you guys where that exactly came from. But a super PAC, which is a political political action committee intensifying their support for John Deaton aiming to unseat the senator. You guys can see right here when it really comes down to Elizabeth Warren, she continues to oppose the crypto industry. One critic of the crypto industry is Elizabeth Warren, who is constantly vocal about her dislike of the crypto industry in an argument that is used by criminals to bypass the law. Folks, that's the wrong side of the bill that you want to be on. I'm going to be showing you guys the official documents of this PAC, this Commonwealth Unity Fund Super PAC, which is rallied behind John Deaton's candidacy for, of course, U.S. Senate. You guys can see right here the Schedule E has been put out. You can see there is, I mean, Buku Cash that is really backing this. But I want you guys to see what Eleanor scooped out of this. You guys can see that Ripple, of course, is backing John Deaton in this Commonwealth Unity Fund. Of course, this new super PAC that has been set up by James Murphy. If you guys are in tune over on X, be sure that you guys give him a follow because the big mission is to unseat Senator Warren. Now, I also want to share this with you guys, how Jack the Ripple put it out, how former Ripple director says that Ripple could burn all their XRP in an escrow. But then that the top DeFi token on the XRPL is the CTF token. It also has the lowest supply of any DeFi token on the XRPL. If CTF token had only half the market cap of XRPL, XRP, we'll be talking about CTF token jumping from 60 cents to $748 per token. That's literally nearly a million dollars for every thousand dollar investment. And when I saw that, I'm thinking, wow, that is quite the jump. It says it might sound shocking to some, but Solana did the same in its last cycle, and Solana has 500 million circulating supply compared to CTF token with only 120 million. That's a very low supply. So he's saying here the CTF token is a gold mine for those watching. My bags are packed, and he leaves you guys a few links. I went on ahead and said, you know, let me dig into it here with Twitter, and you can see that they're actually making a few moves. They say here that we are proud to announce that they've been supporting innovation in the crypto space and are currently at the Futuristic Conference, where you had Crypto.com was a sponsor, Uphold was a sponsor, but you guys can see here that they have been prominently featured as a sponsor. Y'all can see all the way through here, Futurist Conference with Uphold there. They say a crypto, a crypto trading fund would take pride in our team's groundbreaking work and revolutionizing the traditional DeFi reward system. So guys, I'll leave you guys a link in the description for that. You all can see if you did want to buy CTF token, it is available over on the XRPL. I'll leave you guys a link for that. And as well, it's able, it's uh, linked over on Matic, which is a good thing as well. You guys can see, I'll leave you guys a link for Sushi Swap uh, for about 100 Matic. You guys can get about 34 CTF. So that is rocking well. Also, I want to share this with you guys, how Ripple recently put out another release from their UBRI program. Uh, recently, they sat down with uh, Han, Han Yang University's professor to explore ZK knowledge proofs for voting. And I was, you know, looking and perusing before I got on this video. And it's really, really fascinating what they're doing. Honestly, I really want to just shout out Ripple for what they're doing, gaining a better understanding for making sure that people understand the trending topics for crypto and blockchain. I mean, people really think that Ripple is just one drop in the bucket for banks and it's just disrupting a thing. But honestly, folks, you have to understand this is just just one side of Ripple. 
All right. You have to understand that this is the first thing that they're attacking. And if you guys remember the media, we were showing you guys uh, yesterday is how Brad Garlinghouse, Ripple CEO, was sharing that. Yeah, XRP could be the next Bitcoin with how revolutionary and useful it can be. So in this interview, they were saying uh, there's an opportunity to speak with the professor in so uh, South Korea. His work in the security and privacy lab focusing on zero knowledge proofs, ZK proofs, and their potential to revolutionize blockchain technology. Really quickly for anybody who's understand or who's kind of might be a little lost, ZK proofs are basically <clears throat> private, very private. So what to, to further uh, understand what they're saying here is that this ZK voting application is what they created. And this application received Best of Innovation Award at the CES 2023-2024 and was recognized by CTA's president, Kinsey Fabrizio, as one of the top solutions addressing global challenges at the CES opening ceremony. So, folks, that's the big thing is you have innovators, big time innovators coming on board to just discuss interview with Ripple for this, their program that they continue to show innovation with. This program is to bridge the gap between research, theoretical research and practical implementation. Guys, it's not just banks that benefit from Ripple. Already they have their fingers in the in the um, in the new development and new realms that we're going to be getting to in the crypto world. So enabling all of these academic researchers, which, by the way, we have to understand the professor was emphasizing there is a crucial role for academic institutions and how they play their role in the development of of blockchain in the standardization of blockchain folks we're looking at this thing i've been in the 2017 i saw the commercialization with ftx with this luna thing now you're seeing regulations coming in i've been saying that for years but still at this point we are at the end low point for developers so yes academic institutions need to come in now and and, and offer this offer that education all of this research can take innovative and high-risk approaches that private companies might avoid Again, you're already having Ripple expanding, XRP expanding, use case, partnership, and as well, they have enough money to support politics and as well, the academic institutions. So this initiative is vital, okay? If we're actually going to have academia and blockchain in the industry come together and linking this initiative is vital, okay? And that's exactly what Ripple plans on doing, continuing to be that link between it all. Another thing I want to share with you all is again this. When you when I'll leave you a link for it, continue to dive through this and continue to look at the addresses and where they are connected to. Okay. For each and every one of these who are um who who really did get involved in this super pack. Uh, with that being said, folks, do not forget again what we were sharing with you all, how Russia has been supplying, supplying, supplying Iran. And of course, guys, there's going to be something really cooking on the books. And I really do think it is going to be benefiting the price of XRP. I really want to say I appreciate you for making it to this part of the video. Be sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this thing out with anybody who doubted XRP, doubted crypto, or loves crypto anyway. With that being said, folks, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.